Greetings all, this is Max. We're back again. Boy, people sure don't like me attacking the Saint Kent Hovind. Um, I am not actually attacking Kent Hovind. Uh, I'm just posting videos that are done by people who were there. And even my wife has said, well, how do you know that he's just not mad at Kent Hovind and he's making all this stuff up? Um because the guy was there and then comments are talking about uh well have you talked to ken holman i don't really think that i have to i have two or three witnesses that say he's a dirtbag i really don't have to talk to him i really don't that's what the bible says by the mouth of two or three witnesses okay how many of you people out there have talked to obama or Donald Trump. How many of you people out there have talked to him? But you're going to support him? Or are you going to be against him? It's the same thing. Now this is going to be the last video. That I will probably ever directly refer to Ken Hoven. And we'll just look at, you know, I just pulled up Ken Hoven Life of Poverty. Because the man, apparently as he came out of jail, said, oh, ho, 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 I have nothing, and my wife and my son stole everything from me, and I have nothing left. And six months later, he has a 150-acre place in Mississippi and rebuilding Dinosaur Adventureland. How does that happen? A couple of weeks after he's divorced, he's remarried? I think all of this stuff was in the planning, and the guy's an actor. He's an actor. He's an Alex Jones. That's the way that I see it. Okay? The stuff that Theodore said, and Deborah said, and everything, just kind of confirmed it as to how bad this guy is a liar. And a fraud. A charlatan. And a huckster. He's been saying the same jokes and telling the same stuff for 20 years. The same stuff. Watch any of his presentations, it's the exact same thing every single time. He's an actor. Where does he get 150 acres from? Um, what I think happened was Mr. Ernie Land, which is his best friend for 30 years, I think that uh, Mr. Ernie Land opened a trust for him and was the executor of the trust. So when Ken Hoven went to prison and all of his stuff got taken away, it was still safe with Ernie Land in the trust. And that's how Ernie Land bought him 150 acres and is funding his new ministry. It's because this guy shoveled all that money away. Because, yes, he's at evading taxes. It's what he, it's what he is. No, ministries should not be taxed. But if you're having employees, you have to take out tax money from your employees because that's the way the law works. He did not do that. The guy owes something like $2 million in back taxes. Does he talk about that? No. No. Life of poverty. Life of poverty. Now we're going to listen to him talk about him buying four-wheelers and all this other stuff. Couple announcements, real quick. Anna, did you put them up today? Oh, I did. No, yeah, all right. You didn't. You wouldn't think of it. Oh, the ripple effect. Ripple effect. Okay. You want to grab one? I got a whole bunch of them here. When I do a program that I want to really get, you know, myself into it, I put up the pictures of all the atheists. I, I, I we can see you got Hugh Ross, Bill Nye, Charles Darwin, Stephen Hawking, a spider on the back of my head from, from the four wheeler ride. We, huh? A bee. Okay. My four wheeler ride. Mm. I'm telling him. We got the beehive, but we don't know how to milk Bought the bees. Bought with CSE so, money. We got to get a professional. If you know how to milk bees, come on down. Show us how to do that. We can't figure it out. I looked all over the bee. I couldn't find nothing. They don't hold still either. That's for sure. Okay. Genesis chapter 20. 20, what do you mean? 23. Okay. A couple of announcements real quick. If you want to get on our mailing list for updates, uh, just 855, Big no, Dino. No, no, website. 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 Sign up for the mailing list. Uh, the fencing, somebody called last night, said you're going to pay for the fencing for all the critters. So, yay. Ernie's going to come next week. And 
Ernie Put Land. Fence, for a thousand feet long, for all, Ernie all Land is going to build a fence. Now, let me tell you something about this stuff, okay? 150 acres, even in Mississippi, right? If we're talking really, really cheap land, is about $5,000 an acre. Where did Ken Hovind get $75,000? I'll tell you, I live in a craptastic little town in the middle of nowhere. I'm in the middle of Minnesota, the dead middle, where there is nothing but cornfields. And my lot value on a third of an acre is about thirty dollars to $35,000 just for the lot. He has 150 acres. Where in the heck did he get that money, Kent? Oh, Ernie Land. Ernie Land's going to come build a fence. Ernie Land's going to do this. Oh, if you have donations, I'm Ernie Land. He's got a fake trust set up with Ernie Land. And all the money that he made over the last 10 years is going to Ernie Land. Ernie Land is paying him out. And Ernie Land, I'm sure, gets to keep the interest in all the money that Ken Hovind makes. And anything that comes directly to CSE, Kent just spends. You heard him talk about the four-wheelers. You can hear Theodore talk about how they were trying to do DVD productions. And Theodore's like, well, there's no money in the account anymore. And Ken Hovind shows up with two brand new four-wheelers. And that's where the money goes. But yet he can build a fence. He's got a nice house. He's got all this stuff in 150 acres. Where does this stuff come from? But no, no, no. Ken Hovind is a saint. He's not a liar. And he is just a man of God. God gave him that. My old cell phone number, 850. Oh, many, I just got it back today from Lady Di. How long have I not been using that cell phone? Two months. It has like 817 messages on it. Urgent. Call right away. Okay, let's see. That was three months ago. Are you dead yet? Uh, <laughs> probably. Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? <laughs> That's how he thinks about people that actually support him. The 850 number that I used to have is just simply used for, uh, what do we use it for? Hotspot to log on to. So anyway, I now have a 251 number. If you call 855 Big Dino, extension 3, it'll take you straight to me. And if we figure out you're not an enemy, then I'll give you my real cell phone number. Oh, if we figure out you're not an enemy. Well, what difference would that make? Isn't that your whole job? is to actually uh, fight evolutionists. Uh, if you're going to tell me something that I hear that you know, I want to hear, it's nice and soft and like ice cream and cake, then I'll listen to you. But if you're not, then, you know, we're just not going to, we're not going to hear it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, if you want to call and schedule a radio program, I do one tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Uh what am I on here? Truth Radio Network. That's nationwide, isn't it? That's a big, uh, yeah. That's from 11 to 12 tomorrow. I do an interview. So I do quite a few of these and love it. So if you've got somebody in your area, Skeptic uh, Scoffer Station is fine. I'll be glad to do an interview with them uh, as long as it's live and they're not going to edit it and you know, change what I said. You can make the Bible say a lot of stuff if you're not careful. One guy was going to commit suicide. And he said, you know, I'm going to see what the Bible says first. So he opened up the Bible and it says, Judas went out and hanged himself. He said, oh, I don't want that one. He closed it up. He said, I'm going to try one more time. Opened it up again. It said, uh, go ye therefore and do likewise. He said, i got to try one more time. He opened it up and said, what thou doest, do it quickly. So <laughs> you could make the Bible say whatever you want if you pick a verse here and there. But you read it in context, and it's pretty clear. So, Well, you don't read it in context, uh, Kent. With all your, uh, this is where I got off with Ken Hovind pretty much and stop uploading anything and doing anything with them is, I believe in the mid-tribulation rapture. Mid-trib, pre-wrath, hosapulta, um, got my pulpery out and my candles and praise Allah or something. I mean, it was weird. And he's got his whole chart, I think, it's right behind him. That's his whole thing now. This whole deal is, I'm going to be an end times guy. I'm not going to be creation evolution, which is what my entire ministry has been built on and what people know me for. I'm going to go off and I'm going to talk garbage. And I'm not going to address the fact that people have debunked me. I have debunked him. But like more respected people than me have showed that he's an idiot when it comes to the Bible and end times. But yet he keeps on going and he's not going to change. Why? 
because he's surrounded with this little cult down there. And he's got his own thing going, and he doesn't care. Theodore says he's a narcissist. And I believe that. Everything that he says is something that I've heard from him before. He has no original actions. Everything is an act. I'm in front of the camera. I'm going to make my little show. I'd be glad to do live radio programs. Debates are fine. Ten on one, no problem. Uh, that'll make it a little closer for fair. Let's see. And let's see. Call Robert if you want to schedule some stuff like that. Are you up to speed on that yet? No? Anna, still. Okay, extension one. Okay. Um, Rhonda. I'm extension one and I don't. You don't know who extension two is. I don't either. Extension two is Rhonda, but she's not. But Rhonda's on vacation for a couple weeks. We. It's going to be chaos around here, folks. Uh, <laughs> Without Rhonda to keep things straight. Sorry about that. If you can't get anybody, just tough. Okay. Uh, Truth Radio tomorrow. Ben from Minnesota. If you want to get the DVDs, Anna, you said a lot of folks are ordering these. Yeah. We have lots and lots of single wrap DVDs from Pensacola with the wrong address. We're going to put a sticker on there with the right address. And But if you want to get three of them, or ten of them, for 30 bucks, great to give out to everybody, friends, enemies. Uh, just walk down the street and give them out. Some... That 93-year-old man said he'd given out 18,000 of them. So if I figure out something to do for the Lord. I don't know if there's a wrong way to do that. Just hand them out. One guy takes those John uh, Jack Chick tracks, comic books, you know. Okay. Those DVDs that he's selling now were created by Theodore. He gave him the equipment to do it. That's where the, that stuff comes from. And now they're selling them at three bucks a piece or something like that. And that's fine. I'm sure they're really good information. And I still kind of stand by where if you want to get somebody involved in creation evolution, you should probably buy a CSE creation series or something. But don't follow this guy. This little buffoon. He wants to do nothing but bring money into his ministry any way he knows how. And he's not doing anything different except for the 70th week of Daniel because he decided that's going to make him some money. Now let me tell you, I know somebody else who does that stuff. Okay? I'm going to have another video about this dude too. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Robert Faker. Here we are. October, November rapture. And I knew we would do it. My last two videos, I said, Robert Breaker is going to come out and he's going to predict rapture again. 47,000 views. Okay? Do you see that? Right? We're going to go to Robert Breaker's channel. Robert Breaker's channel. 6,000 views, 5,000 views. And it's not moving over for me. There we go. 6,000 views. 4,000. Oh, 50,000 views on the rapture. October, November prediction for rapture. Gee, you got 10 times as many views for that. Huh. Huh. Um, let me tell you. It's for every million views is $1,000. So he's got 49,000 views. Okay? So that's a good 50 bucks to him. As opposed to $4. And $3. What is he going to keep doing? He's a monetized channel. What is he going to keep doing? Huh? That's who these people are. They will twist and bend scripture to do anything they want it to anything and yeah there's some sound teaching somewhere in there there certainly is otherwise nobody would listen to him at all but this dude's been saying the same thing for years and then he gets off on a tangent about um, end time stuff which I don't know what the heck you talking about there guy I mean I can disprove you myself 
And he says, I've been a Christian for 48 years. You can trust me. Well, obviously, you're a moron. I've been a Christian for five. And I can slam dunk you on your theology. Uh, and then you come to find out that uh, he all of a sudden, uh, after getting thrown out by his son and his ex-wife out of his house, well, actually her house, uh, he all of a sudden ends up with 150-acre ranch. Just, wow, isn't that amazing? And then he's got, you know, I was going to go down there too, but I didn't have a car at the time because I was part of the free Kenthoven movement, that whole thing. I was going to go down there too. But it's amazing now, a year after the fact, people that were down there are coming out on the internet and posting videos saying this guy's a sociopath in a nutcase. All right. So there is a lot more uh, videos on Ken Holman about, uh, you know, on liesofthedevil.com. Okay. If you want to hear more about it, go up there. And you, you can keep unsubbing to me because I don't care. <laughs> go ahead, unsub. If you don't want to hear anything, you don't want to hear truth, go keep on subbing. I don't care. Go ahead. Doesn't mean I'm not going to come out against hucksters, charlatans, frauds. And, you know, I give Robert Breaker a hard time right here. Okay? And my next video is going to be on Robert Breaker and his newest video where he's trying to get his money. And the problem that I have with Robert Breaker is he's selling the gospel. That's it. I don't have much of a problem with his message. I think his message is all right. But I think that monetizing the gospel is, is bad. It's, it's not right. Okay? You got hucksters like this guy who are just begging for money, begging, 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 and begging, and begging, and begging, and begging. That's all they do. We have no money for nothing. Come down and volunteer. But he's out buying brand new four-wheelers. He has a brand new house. 150 acres. Um, Give me money. Come on down. We'll give you a hammer. You can come work. And you can see what their conditions are like in their little uh, squalor camps that they have down there. The guy ain't Christian. And now I'm going to quote Theodore. It was actually in his, I talked to him on the phone, he did the same quote to me, but I watched one of his most recent videos, and he's talking about how do you know a Christian? And this is a very good analogy. He told me, when I was down there, I never saw any fruits of Kent's labor of him being a Christian. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, say if you got like a group of friends, and one of them says, I believe in aliens, and, you know, they're controlling your mind and all this stuff. And you go over to your friend's house for a barbecue. And his, his house, the entire inside is covered with tinfoil. And he's got Faraday cages up and all this stuff. And you look at the guy and you go, he really believes that aliens are out there. The guy really believes that. Now, if you look at a Christian, it should be a similar sort of thing. That... This guy really believes he's a Christian. And he never saw any of that at Ken Hoven. I haven't seen anything out of that out of Ken Hoven. All I see is an act. He's an actor. So kudos to Theodore. And uh please don't contact him about the Ken Hoven stuff. He's done with it, and I'm done with it too. So anything about Ken Hoven, don't contact him. With that, I'm going to be out of here.